Good morning, everyone. Time for another member update. So you can see from my account balance, I've been furiously trading. I don't remember what it was last time, but um, I've been doing a lot of buying and selling of Bitcoin. I actually probably traded Bitcoin more than any of the other alts. Um, I made a big play in Next, and it was pretty hairy. Um, I started buying Next when it was down around this support area, thinking that uh, it was going to bounce. It didn't. It plummeted down through here, and it kept going, and I kept buying just because I thought that, uh, you know, it's a pretty important coin. I, I could not really imagine it being over for Next. So down 75%, um, I added to the position and end up taking a decent profit. Uh, been playing Stellar, uh, mm -hmm. a couple of others, mainly Bitcoin. Most of the profits that I've made in the last week, which I think has been about, I don't know, a few thousand dollars, uh, has been buying the massive drops in Bitcoin. Um, they are tending to hang right around this line. So I bought, most recent time I bought was when we crossed below 12,000. And I said before, you have to buy on giant red candlesticks. That's just the only way to play it because the way it works is that it drops very, very hard and then it slowly rallies. So it gives you an opportunity to uh, catch the bounces. Now you can see we're in a rally phase and uh, we may may even go into new highs from here. There's a lot of big news to cover in the crypto space. But before I do that, I have to cover some news about the website. Now, as most of you know, I have not been spending the amount of time that I need to spend on the member site. And I apologize to all of you. Uh, certainly paying subscribers should uh, receive better benefits than I've been providing. So what I've decided to do, and uh, this is the Silver for the People blog, I actually also had to let my employees go today. So I'm gonna change things for the year. Probably gonna start doing all the posting myself. Pretty apropos pin there with top conspiracies 2017. We're gonna get into those conspiracies, trust me. It's a lot of the reason why I've made the decisions I've made. But so the, uh, the member site, I, I don't feel like I've really been doing justice to it, to the people who've been supporting me. And so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna go ahead and convert the member site to a free site. I'm gonna refund um, most of the recent payments that have come in, especially the yearlies. Um, I don't feel like um, that's fair for them to pay and then uh, convert to a free site. So um, I'll do, I'm just gonna go through PayPal and start sending back the money, uh, reverse the monthlies and reverse the yearlies. Also, anybody who's sent me Bitcoin and I haven't refunded it, I'm still catching up on things, uh, shoot me an email at brotherjohnf at yahoo.com. I will get that to you at the current value, not at the one you sent. So if you made a profit on the Bitcoin you sent me and I didn't, uh, I haven't refunded that yet, I'll refund it at, at uh, the current value. So you don't lose out on what you would have made if you wouldn't have sent that. So that being the case, I want to go through the reasons. Now, like I said, I'm going to convert everything to a free site. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the members and just convert them to lifetime. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to pursue CDX for this for the free site. Um, since I had to let all the employees go, um, then I'm obviously going to have to be doing the posting and I'm going to have to decide whether or not um, I want to shut it down or just uh, what I want to do with it. So that's, these are all going to be changes that take place in the new year. Again, my apologies. So let me get into the reasons here. There's going to be a lot of reasons. It's going to be a very long video. <laughs> um, but we'll start out with silver. Now, this is the latest from SRS Rocco and uh, it's called How the Investor Fundamentally Changed the Silver Market. And I think this is a, a good way to introduce the topic of 
you know, why I've made this decision. Now he goes into, you can see this chart here, for example, the global official coin sales and talks about how the investors have, have purchased, you know, about 1.3 billion ounces of uh, physical silver, which he thinks the inventory is locked. It's not going to come back on the market. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Probably right. But nevertheless, you know, what are we talking about here? So let's say we're talking about 1.3 billion ounces. Now we know we're mining roughly 800 million ounces. I've already gone over the numbers many, many times. The, the potential is there. There's no question the potential is there. You can see from the member site here, silver stackers can end the silver manipulation and stop the criminal banksters. There's no question that they can. But are there enough of them? And do they really believe? So far, the answer has been no. Uh, now, I'm one, some would say, is loath to admit that they were wrong. I definitely have been wrong about uh, silver versus Bitcoin. I mean, I was right about Bitcoin. You can see here, I did a, actually did a Wayback Machine here. This site doesn't exist anymore. This is the Bitcoin channel. You can see here, that's a, that's a old logo, your one-stop shop for all Bitcoin news. I think this snapshot is from, yes, 2013. You can see that right there, 2013 on the Wayback Archive. I actually retired this site. And you can see the quote from Orland Grab about prediction in the 90s that something like Bitcoin could come along. You can see the chart here, 48 bucks, uh, flash crash. Bitcoin went from 48 bucks to 38 bucks, wow. So, and you can see I have my donations for Litecoin, Namecoin, Bitcoin, so. And here's the saying, cryptocurrencies will destroy the banksters' monopoly on money versus silver stackers can end the silver manipulation and stop the criminal banksters. And physical silver is the bullet that slays the Wall Street werewolves. Physical silver is the stake in the heart of the financial vampires. Well, is it? I don't know anymore. Am I selling any of my silver? Absolutely not. Am I still stacking silver? Yes, still stacking silver. But we have to deal with the fact that 1.3 billion ounces of silver is worth at today's prices roughly, let's just say 20 billion. Now let's take for example, uh, cryptocurrencies based on market cap. Um, so we're going to talk about Ripple in a second because Ripple's assumed second place here. But uh, you can see here down at number five is Cardano. Cardino? Cardano? I don't know. Who knows? It's also forming a pennant there. It's a $23 billion market cap for some new coin that I've certainly never heard of. You can see IOTA's down here at $10 billion. So all that silver's worth $20 billion. Here's a new coin that's fifth in market cap. What does this mean? Well, my take on it is that the people just haven't woken up. And the control, and this is probably going to be the theme of this video, is that what I will say is what I know now that I did not know then, and the then being starting my YouTube channel, which was roughly 2007, uh, pumping out videos 2010-2011, starting the blog 2011, I believe, and also the Bitcoin channel blog and YouTube channel 2011. Uh, this came later, NASA moon hoax site, exposing all the lies of NASA. Now, why do I bring that up? Well, how does all this connect together? The way that it connects together is it just like this headline is a conspiracy, but it's, it connects together because it's mind control. In other words, the only way that the silver stackers can end the silver manipulation is if there's enough silver stackers stacking enough silver. I don't have any doubt that SRS Rocco's numbers are, are correct. Uh, we know that, I think Jeff Berwick just referred to the fact that the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies just surpassed or has surpassed or nearly doubled the value of all silver existing in the world. So have more people woken up 
in the crypto space. Now, the reason I retired the Bitcoin channel, when I started the Bitcoin channel, my only concern was getting the word out. You can see the headline, Chris Dwayne still bashing Bitcoin. This is 2013. I think he's still bashing Bitcoin. Uh, people are loath to admit they're wrong. Now, I'm going to admit I was wrong. I thought silver was going to do what Bitcoin is doing, not just Bitcoin. When I say Bitcoin, that's uh, a catch-all for cryptocurrencies. But I thought, for sure, given the fundamentals, given the price, given the manipulation, that silver was going to be the bullet that, that brings down their system. It just hasn't come to pass. Can it come to pass? Absolutely. Will it come to pass? I don't know. Like I said, are you still stacking silver? Absolutely. Now let's talk about this mind control and my reason for making this decision. Um, preventing people from thinking that silver is money, preventing people from investing in silver. As I've quoted him many times, Professor Fichetti, Anatole Fichetti has said, money is what people decide it is. And that is absolutely true. Money is whatever people decide it is. If people decide that silver is money and they're going to put their savings in silver, there's no stopping the price. There is not enough silver for even the American citizens to save a, even a, a fraction of their savings. But it's not happening. It's simply not happening. Why? Why is it not happening? It's not happening because the amount of control they have. It's staggering. Now, I did this website because I believe, as I've said before, I never believe that we went to the moon. Now, as it turns out, as we've learned much, much more in the last few years about the true cosmology, which yeah, I don't expect you to agree with me. I'm just sharing you my views. Uh, the current cosmology is very clear. We live in an enclosed dome, firmament, just as the Bible describes. God is above us. There's an up, there's a down. We don't know how far this plane extends, but we know that it's a plane. It's not a planet. It's a plane. And we can't get out of it. It's our, it's, it's our enclosed home. Kind of like a snow globe, maybe. Something like that. It's described in a number of movies. It's described in the Truman Show. It's described, there's, they've done a whole bunch of movies talking about it. They know. Uh, I've talked about Bluegill Prime, Starfish Prime. Think about it. It's talking about a fishbowl. Whether, whether or not you believe in the validity of nuclear weapons, they whatever it was, they tried to blow holes in it in the 1950s and 60s. They sent bombs up there trying to blow a hole in the firmament. They failed. So, um, now I didn't realize this. In 2000, I think this site started in 2014. Let's go down to, and this is really a good site if you want to um, just see all the evidence, especially these bookmarks here. I tried to preserve some of this information has been banned, but pretty much we know that here it is, July 25th, 2014. That's when I started this site. Now, I've been fighting against NASA for decades because I've always known they're lying. I didn't know the extent of their lies. And the extent of their lies is far greater than what I thought it was. And this gets back to the topic, again, the mind control. How much mind control is there? How much control do they have? Well, these are some of the things that I've come to realize in the last few years. Certainly, you know, all of space being fake. The whole thing is just phony. Uh, it's all a lie. In the entire cosmology, solar systems, galaxies, they're all lies. It's all lies. Uh, if you haven't watched all the Eric Dubé stuff now. Eric Dubé is a Hindu. Eric Dubé, we don't want to... Some people say he's a transgender. I don't know. Eric Dubé is definitely a liar. He's a Holocaust denier. But he has some of the best information out there on the flat earth. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's incredible. There's simply no question 
I don't expect you to agree with me. I'm just telling you what I believe. Now, probably the biggest revelation in the last few years that has shocked me to the core, I haven't spent much time talking about it, has been what this YouTuber we're going to cover here um, in a bit when he explains things, is what's called the elite gender inversion. Now, I don't expect you to believe me, but I'm just telling you that what I believe, and I don't know how long it's been going on, but the elite have been gender inverting. Are they human? I don't know. But the he is a she, and the she is a he. I don't know about Trump. I know that's a man. That's probably a girl. These two little kids. Which one has the face of a boy? Square jaws. Scary stuff. Look at these two. Right here. Oval face. Flat forehead. Straight up and down. Square jaw. The he's a she, the she is a he. They, the elite are gender inverting. But they're doing it to children. Now that's extremely disturbing. Let's watch a little bit of Mr. E. If you haven't watched him, he's the best out there. He's a flat earther, he's a Christian, and he's the lead uh, best person when we're talking about elite gender inversion. Uh, let's watch a little bit about this show, Stranger Things. Every single one of them is a training. When you give a 10-year-old girl male hormones. Stranger things just got stranger. Well, I don't know about you, but I get my testosterone from my testicles, right? They both start with the same four letters. What if you inject testosterone into a girl before puberty? All right, that's the main point here. A lot of the FTMs, female to male, transsexuals we see in public, transitioned after puberty. So they leave behind more traces of their female body. But if you get them before puberty, it becomes very difficult to spot, All right, which is what they want, right? They want to fit in as a man. Um, and I don't know that there's too many documented cases of this because they do it in secret, all right? So you can see there, I'll show you the, you know, the basic uh, changes that we go through as men through puberty. That happens to a girl too, you know, deeper voice, facial hair, all that kind of stuff. They go through a male puberty. A girl goes through male puberty, all right? It makes, for from their point of view, it makes for a much more efficient transition. I, you know, I can look in all these social media sites about actual transgendered people and what they uh, talk about. That's one reason it's so difficult to spot them in the media. They transition before puberty as children, all right? About 10 years old or so, right? 10, 11. Right before puberty, they put them on T, man, testosterone. They get it from horses, apparently. A subscriber just told me that. And it blocks... Uh, female puberty, right? It blocks the estrogen from getting in their body. And they also have these other things called puberty uh, blockers as well. So they can, they're bioengineering people into androgynes, all right? That's what the celebrities and television are and the politicians and all these things. That's what we see. Here's some other examples of uh, open transgendered people. There's a FTM on the right, MTF on the left, all right? You can kind of tell. Now let's watch this video. These kids actually, very interesting case study. What's up, it's Matt. And Aubrey. And today we're gonna to talk about the differences between being MTF and FTM. Definitely harder for male to females to pass if they have gone through male puberty. Yeah. And it's way easier for us to pass because once you start testosterone, then you're basically yeah. a little man. Well, man, or testosterone. Oh yeah, estrogen. testosterone, normal testosterone. Once there's no problem, it's great. It's just so good. magical you thing. Guys are I would clear um, on this. I guess the fact that you usually have to use needles. Yeah. And you guys can take it. That kid on the yeah. left. I mean, it's less effective. If you don't have a problem with needles, then that's a boy yeah. transitioning into a girl. You can take estrogen in needle form. The like kid on the right. About. Yeah. That's um, a girl. That's more effective, but most people transitioning into a boy. Pill. Mm -hmm. And estrogen takes way longer to show signs. Yeah, Testosterone, definitely. Like within a couple months, you can tell a difference. Of course. That's why I kind of would like to switch to the patch form because I've heard it, it's faster or maybe even the needle form yeah 
because I would like to be able to dress as a butch lesbian and still kind of be passable as female, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, needles uh, are the quickest. Injecting the stuff into you. This yeah. Is, it just... Whew, real quick. Right there. And now here's a couple other. Now these are older, and they most likely they transitioned uh, after puberty. Another FTM here, you know, facial hair, the whole thing, right? So they can, uh, they're actually, I, I find them to be much more passable, much more harder to spot. Now this one leaves behind, uh, you know, the, the misplaced uh, nipples, right? The hips are fairly convincing. These are all FTMs, by the way, right? They have scars and stuff like that, but these are just regular people transitioning, right? So... Uh, just think of what they're doing in the media. If they're born and bred, look at this guy. He almost has a little uh, Donna's belt action going on. Kind of looks fake, but you know, if you look closely, you can spot it, right? But these are uh... all right now. Which what gender are these kids? You know, the first time I saw this show last year, I didn't know what gender the characters were. This guy uh, Wolfhard on the left, I thought that was a girl character for like the first three episodes. I really did. I couldn't tell. And then the other kid uh, playing L, playing the demon, I thought that was a boy. And a lot of these uh, kids, I couldn't tell what gender the characters actually were for quite a while. I think a lot of people were in the same boat because I got tons of requests for this video. It could be possible that they're all uh, gender benders, you know. Now let me uh, just comment on the last picture here and I'm going to take it off of Mr. E here. So this, this kid here, this is like the bad boy. This is uh, the boyfriends of this girl, quote unquote, girl. This is a good tranny, but that's a boy. <clears throat> and I believe that both of these are actually FTMs, female to male transgenders. Now, how do they do the job? I don't know. This kid's just plain weird. Uh, this kid, I don't know. These two? Those are girls transitioned into boys. So, believe me or not, why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because uh, the flat earth, uh, mind control, you know, ball earth, uh, cosmology, mind control, and this transgenderism, uh, these things demonstrate how powerful their mind control is because they can tell you right to your face and you're not going to believe it. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the transgender thing. This guy here, lowercase s, capital GF, this guy, well, he kind of looks a little bit transpicious, we'll say. But this guy's going to give you his reason. And I think this guy's getting very, very close to what's going on. Why are they doing it? Let's listen. Um, there are two things that result from creating this world, from creating this um, world view, from creating this reality, from steering the world to this reality, where, as a matter of fact, it's no longer just elite gender. There's elite gender inversion, and then there's um, peasant. <laughs> and then there's peasant. Um, gender inversion. There's two things, two um, effects, effects <laughs> that are caused, again, to the issue of cause and effect. One, to the issue of protecting the blue bloodline, you have absolutely achieved this if all of your offspring, all of your children are forced, conned, whatever you want to call it, to gender invert. And then 100% across the board cannot naturally reproduce. You now have 100% control over when, how, and if your offspring reproduce. To the degree that you control those banks, to the degree that you can either covertly or otherwise make sure that when that artificial reproduction goes to take place, um, you know, it's it's a blue blood um, egg stored in a bank being mixed with um, blue blood male reproductive material stored in a bank. To whatever degree you can control that covertly and otherwise, you're going to make sure that all of the reproduction that takes place artificially 
um, keeps the bloodline issue intact. Fairly um, foolproof way of maintaining that thing where there's a segment of people, they, they refer to themselves as blue blood, they refer to themselves as royals, they refer to themselves as the elite. We're referring to them as elite now. L, light. Um, so that's one, that's what you achieve, is that is a means to protect the blue bloodline when you make sure every one of your offspring, gender inverts, spends their life pretending to be the opposite gender. They cannot naturally reproduce. As a part of the process, their genetic material is stored, and from that point on, the whole process is artificial. You have control over it. You control, um, you use that to make sure that your bloodline remains intact. The other thing they achieve in particular, by rolling this thing out and down to the quote-unquote peasants who choose to do it, who choose to be um, kind of manipulated by it, the other thing they accomplish is you will ultimately completely control, I don't know if that was my, um, my connection or whatever, just went red on me for a sec. Um, when you roll down um, gender inversion um, down to the sheeple then you will ultimately and this is a goal 100% control human reproduction we break that down and try and keep it simple you start out with Hollywood and you use Hollywood to get at people up here okay on all kinds of levels and you get at enough people that choose, again, in the, in the peasant world, in the sheep world, to um, go to this idea of, um, you know, changing their gender. You know, I can, you know, they can, so they will. Or some of them will. You know, some people, if they can do something, they're going to do it. If they come to realize something is doable, they're going to do it. Some people are going to ask themselves, you know, some of the deeper philosophical questions, etc. If they can do something, they're going to do it. So Hollywood, the, the media overall, to whatever degree, gets at a certain percentage of the people up here, and they decide they're going to gender invert. Okay? Watch some YouTube videos on the issue. You will see all the ridiculous reasons, whatever, or justifications that people go to for wanting to do this or for choosing to do this. You then adopt a policy of changing laws um, forcing on some level, so manipulating but using the threat of force, using the threat of all kinds of things to force the entire society to first of all be accepting of it, to be accepting of it being forced on you, to not question it, to not challenge it, to not rise up against it, and you continue to push in that direction until ultimately all of society um, will work with that and of course you're going to eliminate any dissent in all kinds of different ways so there you have it <clears throat> that's the explanation of what's going on do i expect you to believe it no do i believe it absolutely are they human i don't know but they're inverting their gender and i believe with the amount of studying I've done of this issue, they've been doing it for decades. And when you investigate Hollywood all the way back to the Ziegfeld Follies, all the way back to the early silent movies, they've actually been doing it for centuries. And it may actually be the case that they've been doing it for millennia. I know that seems insane. How are you going to have tests? To I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. But they've been gender inverting for a long time. If you haven't watched Mr. E3000, Mr. E, watch his videos on the politicians. 
There's no question that the politicians and the Hollywood actors and the musicians, they're for the most part all gender inverted. I just don't know what else to say about that. But again, you combine that with the mind control that comes out of NASA. The cosmology that people believe is real. This is the reason why people can't overthrow the system. They have to overthrow the mind control before they can overthrow the system. Why is it happening with Bitcoin? And it's not happening with physical silver? Well, physical silver is hard to get. And uh, in Europe, there's a huge VAT tax. In Asia, they believe in gold, maybe India. I mean, as I said before, there's no question that the money exists to completely overwhelm the bankers, to remonetize silver, as Fichetti has said, people choosing it to be money. But it's just not happening. It could happen. Is it a good buy? Fundamentally, absolutely. Silver is a fantastic buy. Is gold? I don't know. Do I believe that all the big swear hidden gold is out there? No, I don't. Do I believe in Yamamoto's gold? No, I don't. Uh, is gold a good investment? Probably, but I think silver is probably a much, much better investment. Like I said, I'm still stacking silver, still believe in it. Just as an anecdote, uh, I was going through some of my coins and I found my 2007 Koala. It's now selling for $116. A lot of my old Koalas are selling for $50. Bucks. Uh, I've done very, very well on the silver that I purchased. I hope all you guys have. But I also hope that you guys have done very, very well on the cryptocurrencies. Like I said, I covered it. Covered Bitcoin from roughly $3, 3 or $4. Did I follow my own advice? No. Did I get ripped off? Yep. Uh, do I have any regrets? No. Not at all. Uh, I retired the Bitcoin channel. It accomplished its purpose. Its purpose was to make sure that Bitcoin was in the news. And it wasn't. When I started, well, this is my snapshot of 2013. It's, the site started like two years before that. But uh, no one was covering it. I just wanted to make sure it got covered. Now, I didn't know at the time that it would go this high. I don't think I really believed it. Uh, I believed in the concept. I believed in the, the technology. I didn't believe the price could go that high. And I didn't believe there would be this many alts, thousands of them. Am I happy about it? I'm delighted about it. There's absolutely nothing they can do. Um, and to this day, everything they say is complete FUD. I believe Jeff Berwick is completely right when he says that anybody who says that the bankers are behind Bitcoin is out of their mind. Bitcoin is the destruction of their system. Why would they do that? doesn't make any sense. But again, to summarize, uh, there's no question when we look at these issues. Um, now, I've also had to deal with the, the Google AdSense YouTube issue. And just to explain again the creation of the member site was because of what I saw happening on YouTube there was a point in time where I thought I was just going to be able to do this for a living I was one of the first content creators who shared my screen as I was going through it now today there's you know millions of people doing this but when I started doing it nobody was doing it now my first uh, a couple months on youtube i was making a few thousand dollars a month that was just the youtube revenues i also had a blog was making thousands of dollars on that i thought for sure that uh, i wouldn't have to work and i could just be a blogger well guess what i didn't put all my eggs in one basket and per, as they say in proverbial don't quit your day job i didn't quit my day job now it turns out that what they have done, and I covered that with SRS Rocco's CDX coin and the uh, Commodity Ad Network, what they have done is they've squeezed the alternative news media through revenues, and they control everything. Google, Facebook, the money, they completely control it, except for Bitcoin and except for the precious metals, which they suppress. They can't suppress cryptocurrencies. They haven't figured out a way to do it yet. But uh, 
so that was that's another issue of why, like I said, I had to shut down the employees. I had employees posting, just you know, blogging for me because this blog started out as me finding interesting stories. I started this blog because the alternative media at the time, there's only a few sites, Zero Hedge, I think the economic collapse was out, there's a few others that were out. Nobody was doing it, nobody was doing this. And I wanted to get the story of physical silver out. So I'm probably going to continue posting to this. Again, I'm going to continue doing videos on the member site, but I'm going to convert everybody to free lifetime membership. I don't want people paying for something that they're not getting. Again, if you have not received uh, a refund and you would like a refund, fire me off an email, brotherjohnf at yahoo.com. I'm going to go ahead and refund You know, in the last few months. Um, I will continue to post content to the member site. I will probably post... Not a significant amount of content to the free site, but some, you know, as a new site. And then I will decide going forward uh, how I'm going to work this thing. I need a lot of time to trade cryptocurrencies. At some point, I may decide to go back to a job. I don't know. Insurance is kind of a concern for me. If I can make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year trading cryptocurrencies, I may just purchase that. But, uh, you know, I've learned from the past, uh, I saw this coming, but I did not know the level of control that the elite have and what they actually are. Uh, my eyes have been opened in the last few years to the extent of their mind control and to what they're planning. Uh, it's some scary stuff. Uh, do I hold out hope that Bitcoin and the precious metals can overwhelm the banking system I still think it's a possibility but we're talking about some very dangerous people that are in charge of things uh, a lot of people thought that President Trump is going to come and save the day I, I, can you really believe that someone who's part of this gender inversion mind control this gender inverted entire family, can you really believe even little kids? They're doing this to little kids. Can you believe that that's a good guy? Don't turn things around. I can. So, um, I'm going to take a little break here, probably come back with a video. Everybody, I'm going to convert you to free. Let me know if you didn't receive your refund. Um, I really appreciate all the support that everybody's given me. But like I said, I can no longer uh, feel justified in taking your money for not producing the amount of content that I feel was uh, at least implied, maybe if not promised, implied. So uh, I'm take a little break, come back in the new year, and we'll talk to you next time.